I'm from Glasgow, grew up in Glasgow all my life. Got into cooking because I wanted to know how to make curries and Indian Pakistani street food. Uh, didn't want a paper round in rainy Glasgow, so I got a job in a fishmonger's and then moved on to working in restaurants age 14. This dish is kind of a celebration of the start of a new year. We tried to do British things and the only things we really have are apples and pears over the winter months and then in January rhubarb starts and it's really exciting as a pastry chef and then just after that you get citrus fruit starting to come in and I love blood orange and wanted to make a dish that I guess temperature is important to me because I really wanted to do a dish that didn't transform the fruit too far away from what it was. I wanted to celebrate orange in it as a as a, a fruit that you get to eat, but also serve it warm because I think it tastes so much better warm, like it just come from a tree. So the dish features wild fennel granita. We have sheep's milk yogurt mousse. Uh, Blood orange made into a jelly with agar agar, agar agar. Fennel and blood orange, classic combination of Italy uh, as a salad starter, and I wanted to do the same as a dessert. The milk crisps are just a way of in adding a crunchy texture without using meringue, which is really sweet. I like desserts with less sugar that you don't feel like your whole mouth's coated and you've really gone over the top with sugar, so naturally try and take as much sugar as I can out while it's still seeming like a, a dessert. It's kind of been the runaway success of the menu in the five weeks we've been on here and we did the same dish last year at the Ten Bells. People just who hated fennel were converted and loved it and other people thought it was the best dish of the whole long tasting menu and it's been the one that's had the most uh, emotive response by a long shot.